bustling city 978 kilometers south of Manila, Davao City has always been the cultural, economic, and commercial capital of Mindanao. Aside from its developing metropolis, the region of Davao is also known for its competitive agri-industry. It's now a hub for agricultural products like bananas that are of export quality. Situated in Davao del Norte is this massive banana plantation covering a contiguous land area of over 6,000 hectares. This site is home to one of the largest agricultural companies in the country, and also to one of the most sustainable and productive communities in the region. Antadeco is Tagum Agricultural Development Corporation, located in Davao del Norte. Three municipalities and one, one, one city, Panama City. Antadeco is a plantation of banana. Malaking plantation, wherein marami ding employee. Taking pride as one of the best banana plantations in the world, Tadeco produces a yield of no less than 31 and a half million boxes per year. The secret to such amount lies in the efforts of the agricultural company's approximately 12,000 strong workforce. And to make sure that the business and lives of their employees remain sustainable, the agricultural company implemented and promoted a solid workplace health program. It started with when the owner, Mr. Florendo, Don Antonio Florendo Foundation. So sa hospital, yun ang focus niya is health program sa lahat ng employee. Gusto niya kasi uh, good health yung mga employee, maganda ang result, maganda ang result, di maganda ang business. Establishing their own hospital within the compound to effectively address any health concerns, even tuberculosis. TB still remains a prevailing health concern in the country. Based on statistics, individuals that are prone to TB belong to the working age bracket of 20 to 49 years of age. And to ensure the success of any company, they must greatly rely on its most important asset, its people. That's why implementing and maintaining a healthy workplace program is important to be able to create a productive and industrious working environment. Isipin mo na lang kung karamihan sa mga Pinoy, yung mga workers natin ay may TB, eh di hindi sila healthy. So paano nila ngayon uh, gagawin yung kanilang trabaho? So very important na ma-address natin yan, na TB in the workplace para healthy no, yung ating mga workers. In partnership with the PBSP or the Philippine Business for Social Progress, the agricultural company implemented the TB DOTS program in their own hospital in 2006. Their own health personnel also received training from the PBSP and the Department of Health. This is to gain extensive knowledge and insight to make their anti-TB program more efficient. Together with the PBSP, nagkaroon ng yung TB DOTS program nga in the workplace. So tinuturoan kami doon kung paano i-treat yung mga employee, how uh, parang paano sila na hindi lamahiya, kahit may sakit sila, may inform sila na they can still work even though they have this illness but the company will help them also to become well. So when they become well, they will become productive sa trabaho nila. PBSP is a corporate-led foundation. We have companies uh, as part of our membership. It's very important because we believe that health is well. If you want to, to be productive, you need to take care of your uh, workers. And TB, as a disease, is affecting the productive age group. So it's critical for us to make action to address TB because it affects us socioeconomically. The PBSP's monitoring of the company's TB program lasted only for a year. By then, the agricultural company was knowledgeable enough to run the program on its own. Making use of the shared value learned from the partnership, creating a productive social relationship and cooperation between labor and management. After we zero out na yung, ano, yung parang na spin off na namin yung programa ng PBSP, gawa na namin nun, after a year, nire-refer na namin sa community or sa barangay LGU. Sa community na siya mismo matitreat at i-inform din yung community or barangay na so we, we have cases like this that you need to help them also. Madali na lang sila kagamitin. More than being disease-free, a healthy workplace gives employees a greater sense of motivation or drive to perform better for the company, thus creating a sustainable and inclusive working environment.
we really look at again, helping them come up with workplace programs, uh, looking at the overall well-being of their own employees. So companies are actually in a position to create uh, TB in the workplace programs, not just because it's a mandatory requirement, but really because we want to push the advocacy of companies taking care of their employees. Companies are assisted by TBSP in terms of you know, how, what kind of programs should be in place that would help address TB uh, in the workplace, if any, and also as part of a, an overall uh, program to address employee well-being. Naibong ko sa kong lawas nga sigihan bitaw kalintura o lagnat, mga 15 days siguro. Sabi sa doktor, mayroon akong TB. Good health yung mga employee. Maganda ang result, maganda ang business. Hindi namin i-disqualify yun kung may sakit ka because we want to help. And more than just being one of the biggest banana plantations in the world, the agricultural company also made sure to provide a flourishing and self-sufficient community for their employees in Barangay A.O. Florendo, Panabo City, Davao del Norte. Located right at the heart of their compound, the community is home to over 6,000 employees, complete with its own school, sports complex, and a hospital and other facilities to cater to all their basic needs. All these benefits provided by the company concretely shows how much they value their human capital. After all, the success of a company lies on its own people. And that's why health and welfare of employees should always be of paramount importance to a company. Fifty-year-old Raul Paghunasan can attest to how the agri-company values its employees' well-being above others. Raul, a barangay tanod of the community, contracted TB back in 2012. Naibong ko sa kong lawas nga sigihan bitaw kalintura o lagnat. Mga 15 days siguro. Nagpatingin ako ng doktor. Sabi sa doktor, mayroon akong TB. Pagpa-check up na ko sa doktor nga ako na sakit ng TB, gumika na ng pagpanigarilyo bitaw ko. But instead of being removed from his post, it was the Agri Company that took the initiative to have Raul treated under their TB Dots program. Ang sa TB program namin is for Tadeko is identification. Through identification, makuha namin yan sa consultation. In consultation, basta two weeks cuff. Automatic yan siya, x-ray, sputum exam. Through those diagnostic tests, makita natin kung nag-positive siya for PTB. And if positive siya, here comes your, yung referral system namin. We refer them to, to the nearest RHUs for free medications on TB. Employees with tuberculosis are also constantly monitored by the company hospital to ensure that the patients really are committed to treatment and eventual recovery. So, kung under treatment sila for TB, um, on sick leave sila. On sick leave. So, kung dito lang sa within sa barangay A.O. Florendo, we have the BHWs, barangay health workers. Sila ang nag-monitor sa areas if nag-proper yun sila pag-take sa medication nila. Kasi ang medication nila, hindi nila na-withdraw all in all, automatically, usually weekly. And then, here comes the dots na direct, observe, nagamutan. So the BHW will see to it na they are taking the medicines. Dito, pag mayroon kang sakit na TB, yung mga tao, imbis kay pumunta sa... Uh, mo ari sa mo ah, makuha na ba man nang di na sila mo kan kay nay sakit nga tibi adlok matakdan o makawa kung sa tagalog sir ang natabang sa tadi ko sa mo ah permi mi taga agtambal kada semana check up sa ospital dress tadi ko 
Ya. Sige, tambal. Hatag og tambal. Antod yun nga na human regid ang 6 months. Sige, gihapon sila og ano tambal. To be stricken with a disease like TB can adversely impact one's livelihood, as time and commitment to medication and treatment is needed for a patient to fully recover. TB treatment can last from 6 to 9 months, depending on the type of TB a patient has contracted. In order to avoid this, the best way to remain productive and healthy is still to give proper awareness about the disease. After all, an ounce of prevention is always better than a pound of cure. If you are sick with tuberculosis, you are actually prevented from working. So, bottom line, you're losing profit. And at the personal level, the family can no longer support their children and those who actually are dependent to them. The company also promotes equal employment opportunities. Even applicants stricken with TB are given a chance to work for the company and even benefiting from their TB DOTS program. We encourage them to help them understand that there is a disease. We will help you to be employed, but you need to follow the, the treatment that we give to you. We don't want disqualify you if you have a because we want to help. The, the, the company wants to help. But to make the TB program of the Agri Company inclusive and sustainable, employees also take part in the information dissemination campaign for TB prevention, promoting the importance of health amongst colleagues. Hindi naman dapat matakot yung mga tao dahil in-inform namin na libre man yun ang check-up sa tadi ko, libre din ang tambal, ay yung gamot. Ang talaga malusog para yung mister na magtrabaho doon sa field, maganda din yung perform niya. Maganda din yung kinalabasan ng trabaho niya. Malaking tulong yan sa amin kasi yun ang para sa magandang pamumuhay at sa magandang pangkalusugan. Yan ang kanunay na di siya ipaabot sa amin na ampingan na mo. Kung baga pa yung ingatan namin yung pangkalusugan para sa magandang pamumuhay at sa magandang trabaho. People-centered programs will always result in inclusive and sustainable growth. The contribution to the success of a company from a productive and healthy workforce simply cannot be overstated. It's important to be a member of PBSP because PBSP is, is doing some program, project for the good and benefit of the employees and also for the company. Isa dun, ito yung programa ng TB, uh, TB Dots. Because of the training from PBSP, naging easier sa amin marunong paano i-approach sila, paano sila kausapin, and paano sila paintindihin na ito importante itong gawin para maging malusog. So PBSP's approach in working with uh, companies is two-pronged. Number one, for them to be able to set up a TB in the workplace program to help their employees so that we will be able to detect TB from those um, uh, applying for work and ensure that the workers are being tested so that should they have TB, they will be treated uh, properly. The second approach is to help companies do this TB education, ca uh, finding cases in the community. So it becomes a CSR program. Magtakip ng ilong at bibig pag may umubo. Dollar 7305 is the order uh, that mandates all organizations should have um, a tuberculosis policy and program. Mahalaga siya kasi it actually tells us how to prevent and also to control tuberculosis in the workplace. And dito yung pinapakita kung paano yung detection, paano yung uh, treatment, and how we can also minimize the so social stigma. Feel like a master with Ogawa's latest massage chair. The Ogawa Thermocare Massage Chair. Enjoy an ultimate massage experience with its Master Drive Navigator. Every component in the Ogawa Master Drive is optimized for performance through human-like full-body massages. 4D thermo rollers for a genuine massage feel. Ogawa Master Drive is the only massage chair whereby the heat function is dispersed from the massage rollers itself. Its high-performance arm processor can also accurately adjust massages to your command for massages that hit all the right spots with the right power. The Ogawa Thermocare Massage Chair also has 22 massage programs and 500 customizable options. The best part of it is 
you can then set your massage to focus on specific areas. Treat your knees to some much needed care with 3D Knee and Plus Therapy, the chair that massages even your knees. Pamper yourself with the Ogawa Master Drive, the only massage chair that offers the most human-like massage experience.